What's up, everybody? Welcome to Why Invest Wednesday. Super excited for this episode as it takes us back to where it all started and really focused on real estate investment. And this is something that was brought to my attention recently, and it's where should I invest? And the honest truth is where you should invest starts with your goals and your situation. So I'm going to dive into a couple different uh, aspects of where to invest and how to do that today on this episode. So stay tuned. What's up, everybody? Jeremy Kane, EXP Realty here. So excited to bring you another episode where we're talking about real estate investment and tips to getting into real estate investment that's best for you. I love helping people build wealth through real estate and eventually achieving financial freedom. I feel like I've had a very blessed life within real estate investment, kind of by accident, and I wanna make sure that I'm helping people Uh, like yourselves, get out there and understand where to invest and what goes into it and why there are certain areas and places, especially in, you know, your hometown or maybe across the country that could lead to better uh, investment for you. So please always like, comment, subscribe. If you're interested in learning all about an investment, please comment below and I will get you an invite to Building an Investment Empire taught by you know, the number one lender in the state, Nicole Ruth, and we'll absolutely collaborate. I would love to have you as my guest at that either this month or any month that she has that class. So uh, just go ahead and do that and stay in the know as we talk about all things real estate. And today let's dive into that real estate investment piece. So the common question is, where should I buy a home? Me being in the Denver market, we went from a very affordable you know, place where you could pretty much find a good deal for investment on the MLS cash flow. You know, then you had the benefit of appreciation, which has really exploded here lately. And that just really isn't the case anymore. You have to be a lot more savvy, a lot more ready to roll, maybe even have, you know, cash because a lot of the industrial investors are moving in with cash and cash is king usually. So Denver has become a a really difficult place to get that cash flowing perfect, you know, turnkey investment as I call it. And this is something that's okay. I tell people right now, you know, especially mom and pops, it's kind of my focus because that's what I did. Bought my first home at 18, have six doors. You know, the story goes on. You can check that out here if you want to want to check my story out. But the current situation in Denver is if you get a property that, you know, breaks even and pays for itself, it's probably a pretty good investment. Whereas, you know, if you need a cash flowing property and you need something that's going to provide income on a monthly basis, maybe there's a Midwest town, Kansas city i know you can get a duplex for you know three hundred four hundred thousand dollars in kansas city where here you know it's pretty baseline you know 600 to 700 for a multi-family and that might need some work or be in a rough area or whatever that may be so that's that's where people kind of are like okay well we heard multi-family was the way to go but now we're talking you know three quarters of a million dollars to get in and it just doesn't cash flow the numbers don't work well what i then draw back and take a step back and look okay well we've just had nationwide appreciation records set everywhere and here in kansas city we have 300 400 dollar duplexes where maybe they were that in Denver 10 to 15 years ago, but now they're 700, 800,000. So we've just come off the best housing, you know, appreciation we've seen nationwide. So that's where Kansas City got to, and this is where Denver got to. So maybe in Kansas City, we go in and, you know, buy one of those properties, but understand that that appreciation is probably not gonna be, you know, as big of a factor in your investment income. So maybe we need cash flow. Maybe we're towards retirement. We need that extra five, 500 bucks a month or whatever. Well, then I'm going to steer you to Kansas City because that constant cash flow will con- continue to come in. You can still leverage and, and buy down rent principal and all of that stuff. And the home will appreciate, right? Naturally, the average's appreciation is, you know, three to 5%. In Denver, we're a little higher, somewhere between six and 8% usually um, over the years. So, it's just going to appreciate a little slower starting with a you know three hundred thousand dollar number versus denver which might appreciate at five or six or seven or eight percent but it's starting at 750 so the appreciation growth will be bigger but you might have to you know bear with breaking even or just barely breaking even so in denver you'll get the appreciation and the principal buy down probably not as much cash flow especially in the first five to ten years 
with the interest rates and all of that. In Kansas City, we probably won't get as big of a benefit from the appreciation because it won't appreciate as fast, but we may get some monthly cash flow, which could be good, and we will still obviously have the principal buy down as we go. The rate, rent rates will also not increase as quickly because the rent rates usually are pretty you know, in line with the appreciation. So as home prices go up, investors get in and they set the rent rate based on their mortgage and their cash flow. And, you know, then the investor that maybe owns outright will still want to get their share of the pie and raise the rent. So that's kind of the situation. But as you can see, for some people, it may be great to go, you know, to a different market and invest where, you know, for myself, who's a little bit earlier in life and doesn't really need the cash flow right now, I can, you know, delay that and let bank on the appreciation. We'll still have the principal buy down and both investments provide, you know, for different lifestyles. And that's the important part when you're looking at investments. What are your goals? What are your needs? And where can we go find that? Because as we know, real estate is a super solid investment consistent over time. And that's what we're looking at. So that's kind of my rundown of where to invest. The truth is it starts with a conversation. I'd be happy to talk to anybody who has one rental property, zero rental properties or 20 to kind of actually actually put a strategy to it because I know it's kind of been the wild wild west the last five years people are just kind of diving in and making decisions and now house hacking is a thing and all of this stuff so if we sit down have a strategy put together then we can make these you know decisions and you know you oftentimes are like oh this you know this beautiful house across from the lake three hundred thousand dollars but you got to understand if it's only three hundred thousand dollars after the best real estate appreciation there's something to that market that may not you know, make that a million dollar lake house at any any given time. You know, it's gonna go slower and inch that way up because we've just come off record appreciation nationwide. So that's today's Why Invest Wednesday. Please comment, subscribe, and throw me a like. Absolutely would love to stay in touch with you and discuss anything you need. There's a link to a Calendly uh, below and I would be happy to sit down with you, talk about your real estate investment, your primary investment, whatever you may need to help you succeed in the game of real estate. Thanks and have a great day. Bye-bye.